All right, thank you, JJ. All right, we're also talking about caring for your pet's eyes this morning. Joining us is uh, Dr. Jerome Williams and also Dr. Beth Gibbons. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having us. Okay, so I know this is this is your specialty field. Right. And this is Pedro, right? Right. And so, Pedro, you, you performed cataract surgery on Pedro, right? Yes, last year. All right, now talk about, uh, you know, some of the common symptoms for dogs and the reasons they, you know, have an issue with their cat needing cataract surgery. Um, well, this dog is a diabetic, and it's very common for diabetic dogs to develop cataracts. Okay. Um, and so, uh, one of the signs with it is the cloudiness, of course, that people can see behind their um, uh, irises, but they also usually will have trouble seeing as well. Right. And yeah. left left uncared for, you know, what is just going to be eventual blindness, right? Right. Yeah. Yes. So, Dr. Jerome, we, you were talking earlier, like you and I just been kind of getting educated just hearing her talk about this thing. <laughs> yes, and it's, it's so important that our fellow veterinarians and our viewers realize that if you got a cataract dog and if you got a diabetic dog and it's showing signs of cataract, if you don't get it treated early, Mm -hmm. uh, see Dr. Gibbons early, then it's going to go blind. Uh, a large percentage of them will go blind. So it's something that I was not aware of that it's something that we've got to be on. You know, if it's potentially diabetic, then watch uh, mm -hmm. for potential cataract problems. Now, is, there, is there also uh, nutrients and things that dogs need to, to sort of guard against this? Is there things you need to have in their diet? Um, to prevent this, the problem with the diabetic cataracts has to do with the increase of in blood, blood sh the glucose in their blood mm -hmm. so there's not really anything that they can do other than just be as well regulated as possible mm -hmm. um, and um, but there's not there's not anything oral supplement is it a costly procedure and uh, is there a lot of risk for the dogs are usually you know pretty successful it is highly successful it's got about a 90 to 95 percent success rate okay. um, and it's yeah. so important again that they be seen early in the process because I guess after a while or if the glucose level is too high too long permanent damage is done is that so not right doctor? Late? Yes there are times that it, it can be too advanced okay. and surgery is not as successful. All right well yeah. quickly uh, you mentioned that service dogs if somebody has a service dog that needs uh, some care I hear you guys are providing a great service talk about that. Right this um, this month if people want to they and if they have a dog that's uh, in a service program they can go online to acvoeyeexam.org um, okay. and register. And um, next month, we'll be giving free eye exams to those service dogs. Okay, something to take advantage of, indeed. All right, uh, thank you, Dr. O yeah. from Red Out and Red Mountain uh, Animal Clinic. And thank you, Dr. Gibbons. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank, thank you, Pedro. He's about to go to sleep. And Dr. Gibbons is located on Acton Road at the okay. where the emergency clinic is. All right, thank you very much. Okay.